Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look in the euro currency. So despite some contradictive events that we saw last week, we do not have any reasons to change our strategy in the short term and still stands aiming on 122 target in technical point of view. The mental picture also hasn't changed significantly, so we have put today as usual the fundamental report. Some interesting moment stands there that um, currently we see some contradiction between the data, among the data that we've got, for instance, the consumer price index and the non-farm borrowers last week and overall market reaction. So, well, actually we are already talked about it in the week before, but in general, currently we have the approximately the same picture. But and, and, and that leads investors and analysis to make the different forecast. So one a group of analysis suggests that the euro currency should rise one to any area, while other analysis think that dollar index starts to rise and that will press on the euro currency. But we do not see any contradictions between these two opposite uh, directions, just because that, because by our view they should happen in a different timing. So first as we expect on the dollar index 87.3 uh, destination point, it means that euro easily could reach 126, 128, 128 area. Uh, but a reversal then could start, and indeed, by the end of the year and uh, even in the second half of the year, the situation could drastically change. Uh, and that will lead to complete completion of the targets of the second group of analysis. So they, they, are not, they do not contradict each other, they should happen just in a different time. Uh, also, uh, the one pleasant moment that we see in the fundamental picture current is that evidence that we thought should, be, should, should happen a bit later, closer to the end of the March, starts to appear on the market. Because a recent poll that takes the Reuters shows that analysis expect better performance in the United States economy in the nearest time, stronger growth, uh, better employment, although for employment it could take for for more time to recover after the crisis. So all the stuff supports our view on the market, and inflation is rising, guys. Already, uh, long-term interest rate stands around 2.23, uh, showing the anticipation of the rising inflation above the 2%. Lower rate stands around 1.2. So in Europe, long-term bonds jump up from the zero point as well. Uh, that just shows that expectations are moderate. It's not really very strong, but the situation could change. And all this stuff, we're very happy, satisfied with this progress because it stands uh, perfectly matched to our view. So all this stuff confirms our long-term view and we do not see any reasons to change it. So currently, everything goes as we suggested. Uh, in the short term, uh, in general, what we could do in the current circumstances, so what we have to do. So first of all, we have to follow our short term scenario. As we suggest drop in the dollar index, it means that the new currency market should continue upward action. And we just need to follow the patterns that we have and, and follow the strategy and the plan that we have. In the longer term, in perspective of the couple of months, February, March, we need to keep an eye on the statistics and see how the statistics confirms our uh, view. So, uh, in general, it should be some leading indicators or at least in time indicators compared to COP, CPI that is actually a uh, lagging like indicator. So, personally, I'm more uh, rely on the inflation data such as uh, price consumer index, uh, price consumer expen expenditures, uh, early uh, hourly earnings, and uh, some statistics that stands closer to reality. Well, uh, and just keep an eye on what will happen on the sentiment, on the consumption, on the spending, on the retail sales, on inflation, and see what is changing. So, uh, in the short term, we intend to keep with our training plan. Actually, I've not seen reasons to change it as well. And we mostly aimed on the 122 area by two reasons. First of all, overall price action here is bullish. 
because market shows healthy reaction on strong support and confidence in the pre previous top around 120, so it was able to hold here, jump up, for instance, bullish here on the daily chart. Recent reaction, downside retracement that we discussed, also stands accurate, as we have suggested, and it also adds some confidence that we should probably write in. Market should continue our prediction right to the 122 area, 2185, 122, so we expect market to hit this level. That's the first point that we will keep an eye on next week. Next step is downside retracement, because here we consider possible average head and shoulders that should push price higher back to the 123 top first, and then maybe to the weekly XLP. That's actually what we intend to do within a few weeks. On the fallout and from chart, that's actually how this patient could look like. This is healthy reaction on the previously broken confidence resistance. So market has retested it and jumps up. This is good. And now we're just watching for a possible reaching of uh, this level. This also take a few levels, 2197 resistance. And then if you'll take a look at our chart, you'll see that we also have the X opens 2183 that creates agreement with this big level. So that will be relatively nice resistance area. And it's a good destination point in target. So those of you who are following this ABC pattern, keep the position well. It should be very good week to you. Our reaction on Friday was totally anticipated. So we discussed the progress inside the range. We discussed the fake inability, actually, fake breakout and ability of the market to proceed high. That makes us think that market should show deep retracement. That has happened. Market has reached precisely the levels that we have specified. First level and the confidence level here. So currently, if market indeed stands bullish, theoretically, it should continue our prediction. The way how it could do it, it stands different. So personally, I, I just draw here the butterfly. Because extensions of this recent swing envelop the XLP, and market could reach 1618 butterfly, for instance, it's 2191, and hits the XLP, and simultaneously it could reach the FIB level here on the fall down from chart, forming the neckline of the passion. But alternatively, that could be also reverse head and shoulders passion. For instance, if the market will hit this level, it shows deep retracement and standing up reaction. And the way this ABC passion, the shape of the head and shoulders, also creates the target right at the XOP. Finally, it even could be the three drive. For instance, it could be first drive, then it could be some second drive, and then it will be third. So it's it not really a very uh, big difference. Not matter uh, what the particular pattern will be formed. The one thing stands the same. It's an elevation point. This is A lows. So if, if you would like to take the long position, hide your stop somewhere below the confidence first. Once market will start up prediction, you could move it higher right below the, your entry point or even on the break even. That's the thing that we will keep an eye on in the beginning of the week. Then potentially, finally, if we will get this type of action, as I suggest, take a look at this stuff. So we could get, for instance, shoulder, head, and then again shoulder. That will put the starting point for a drop back to the uh, bottom of the right arm of this patient. So it will be around 120.50. So it could be some head and shoulders where it could be an A, B, C, D, retracement right back down. So this is also a thing that we could keep an eye on. But that will be already the next step. And not, not necessarily, it's definitely will be the hand and shoulders, but at least this chance also is, exists here. So that's approximately what we intend to do on your accounts next week. So let's see how it will turn.